I'm in med school. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Hey guys, so what's up everybody? But yeah, so I know like I had said that the next time you guys are probably gonna see me on the vlog was like post step, but a lot has happened and like I guess the way I said in my vlogs that like you guys are actually gonna be like almost a month to maybe a month and a half behind in terms of like what's happening in my real life to be honest just that's the way like that's the way I posted the vlogs but by like week three of my studying I just had been getting progressively more stressed and just like feeling like I wasn't having enough time and just like not feeling like I was having enough time to feel strong about the systems I've already reviewed before going into the other stuff and basically it got to the point where you know I had to come to a decision of like do I like continue you know feeling this way and pushing through the next three weeks and then take an exam or do I like potentially change everything about what I thought my third year and everything was gonna look like because you know when I was talking to my advisor about it and one of my deans they both recommended that I change my third year schedule to accommodate for me to have more time to study first step and I was really nervous about doing that because I just didn't want to feel like compared to my other colleagues I needed more time to study I didn't want to feel like I was different I wanted to feel like I, I want to be I guess I was kind of battling with this internal thing of like I should be able to use the same six weeks everyone else has to study you know and I guess maybe it's a bit of a a pride thing or not wanting to feel less than when they had recommended I take extra time and basically change my 30 year schedule um, and and it was it was tough and it, and I think part of part of what led me there is like I'd taken a practice exam and my practice score was 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 worse than my my initial score so like the school in December had us all take a practice exam um, to see kind of what our baseline was and I had a really decent baseline I was I, I like this was without studying from the systems from first year or anything this was a non like you just take it I had a really good baseline I was so close to passing on that baseline so and so we already knew I was at a very very good start um, and then to see my next practice exam that I took go down was kind of very discouraging to me and I think kind of just like it, it took me off the deep end um, but then after really assessing that exam I just realized it was that exam was just the kind of really skewed to a lot of the systems that a lot of the system it was really skewed heavy to a system I had not studied yet um, but yeah eventually after just you know speaking with close ones and stuff and like crying a lot of tears I decided to take the recommendation and take the extra time so my third year schedule has completely changed from what I told you guys so everything is all flipped um, and it is com a co very completely different schedule than what I shared with you. It's crazy. And it wasn't ideal because I had my top schedule and now I had to take a schedule that would give me more time to study for step at the expense of giving up the, sk the kind of 30-year schedule I always wanted. It was a very hard decision to make, but... I think I really needed to do that because now with the extra time I have I was really able to restructure my study schedule I feel a lot more at peace I feel like I can actually study at a more realistic and reasonable rate for myself um, and I don't feel as like stressed and I think it's allowed me to come back it has recentered me and reminded me that like I know I'm like so capable of like like crushing this exam like if this was scored listen <laughs> I'd be blowing these these pterodactyls out the water um so I think it's really kind of you know made me feel confident that I actually can do this and it is okay that I need more time to do that so 
so yeah so now i have more time to study for step i'll be starting third year a bit later um than anticipated but honestly that's okay um because passing step is what's kind of important right now and just doing well and being able to build a foundation for third year is what's important so that's kind of what's been happening so far and kind of what i've been dealing with so i mean by the time you guys see this vlog i still would have already probably taken step um just because of how delayed all these vlogs are but yeah but yeah this just kind of goes to show you that this is really what like it's like you know we have these ups and downs you know we have this plan of how life is gonna go what our schedule is gonna be like and we have to be adaptable and be willing to accept things that change because i was just so like sad about just I literally watched my whole third year and all my plans and everything just like change within like days, you know. But I think I'm ultimately happy with how everything panned out and I think it was needed and even, you know, the fears and concerns I have with the schedule I have now, I'm still, you know, confident that it's going to work out and, you know, the positive in this and that is that I got basically my first or second choice for like, I think all of, ooh I got a package, for like all of my sites um, for, for 30 years. So even though I don't have the rotations in the order I necessarily wanted to, at least I got like all of my top choice sites. So that's still a positive. So I'm really still excited for third year. Um, as weird as it is and as stressful as studying for step is, I think I'm a bit more excited about studying because I don't feel that stress of time and I don't feel that like anxiety of like running out of time, you know, so now I feel more calm. I feel like I can actually, you know, study at a at a pace that makes sense for my brain and that allows me to retain and 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 process the information the way I know how I learn um and it's and it's kind of crazy and interesting because sometimes I think and I wonder like how did I study for that MCAT <laughs> like, like what the heck like I honestly don't even know what I was doing like I couldn't even tell you what I did to study for the MCAT like comparing because I am just so intentional about how I study for a step like the way I study for a step is I can tell you it's not what I was doing for the MCAT, so I'm just like, girl, sis, I don't know what you were doing for the MCAT and how you even, like, <sighs> Lord help you. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, so that's what I got going on. I probably won't really be vlogging during this, like, new dedicated period I have, but I just wanted to, like, you know, come on and update you guys and share, you know, this update of how things have changed and and yeah so probably the next time you will see me on camera is me walking <laughs> out that testing center because I cannot wait to be done with this process and then I will take a couple weeks off I'll have about two weeks off before I start third year just to like recruit regroup from the burnout and take some time to myself and then I start third year on the day of my birthday which is tragic but <laughs> that's life either way like I was always going to be working on my birthday but I guess what a beautiful way to what a beautiful way to celebrate my birthday I start third year which is I guess a blessing so yeah Hey guys, it is currently March 11th and today is what would have been my first day of vacation if I was if I had taken let me set this up. If I had taken my step exam on the day I had originally planned, which is not what's happened 
So since I was since I last like came on video, which I don't even remember honestly, like I don't know what any of these days are anymore, but I like at the beginning of this week, I was like, okay, I'm four weeks out from my new test date and I feel like I know more, but I also am still not seeing the progress I want to see. So I reached out to my academic advisor again and I was like, I think I might need a tutor or something. So long story short, I enrolled in a prep course program because I just felt like I've been doing this whole individual studying thing for four weeks and the math is not mathing. So let me try something different. So I've kind of finished like it started on Wednesday. Today's Friday. I finished three days of it and so far I think I, I mean it's hard to say until like obviously I take more practice exams to really know but so far I feel like it's kind of changed how I think about the exam and you know the skill sets we've been building in just these three days have been really helping um, so I'm kind of hopeful and excited and I think the thing that I also like about it is that a lot of other people in my class were also struggling and have been pushing back their test dates as well. So this uh, prep company actually made like a four week program for uh, just the students at my school. So it's like a group of seven of us and we're doing this together. And I kind of like it because it brings a bit more like of socialness back into it. Um, so it's like in the morning into the early afternoon we have class so I like go on Zoom and see other people um, and we're just working through problems together and it's not like they're teaching us anything new because the idea is that like we've all been like studying for X amount of time and whatever we're doing is not working girl so we're just going through questions and I realized I really like kind of going through questions as a initially I was kind of hesitant I thought maybe I just wanted a tutor but I'm actually really glad I went with the group thing because I realized that like going through like problems together as a group and seeing how other people think and like hearing the instructor say okay this is how this is what you did good in terms of thinking through this problem this is what you should have paid attention to this is what you didn't pay attention to um, it's really just helpful and has kind of we've been learning from each other how we read and think through these problems so I think it's just been helpful so far for me um, and also has kind of made studying a bit less lonely because I kind of am able to see other people who equally are on the struggle bus and then in the afternoon we have homework and stuff to do which is more questions and like getting ready and studying for farm and micro drills the next day so I think it also adds a bit of a sense of accountability of like things to get done um so i'm feeling a bit better about that but we'll have to just see how that translates into practice exams um but i'm going to, i'm feeling positive about it and i think i'm constantly having to tell myself that like i cannot allow this exam to like overwhelm me and take over well it is taking over my life and it has overwhelmed me and it still is but i have to remind myself that like this is an exam and that's all it is and this is a reading exam and I need to be able to read and apply the knowledge and I think one of the biggest things that was mentioned and that they said that really changed my perspective about how I thought about this exam was that yes it's, it's a reading exam but we're not taking the exam to pick an answer but more so to eliminate answers and obviously that's not going to apply for every single problem on the exam but it changed how I really think because I think one of the things I struggle with is like as I go through problems I'm looking through every single answer choice to figure out how can I justify this being the right answer or or not and reshifting my headspace to think I'm not supposed to justify anything I'm supposed to look at how can I eliminate things you know what is written in this vignette that will help me eliminate things um, and get down to the most correct answer because very well there could be two things that could be very easily either or. Um, so that's kind of been helping. So we'll just kind of have to see, but I don't know, it's just kind of still like a very isolating experience. I like wake up every day just so like 
sad like i was on zoom yesterday with my boyfriend and oh my camera turned off on me but i was on zoom with my boyfriend yesterday and he was like oh you look nice mind you i look this exact same way and i was like i'm not even gonna say the word i used but i was just like you and i both know i look like all my life i had to fight like ain't nothing cute about this he was like yes it's giving all natural i'm like it's giving depressed frustrated borderline about to like just take one off the deep end so please but yeah i just i don't know i just cannot wait to be done studying for step um but i just really at this point <laughs> at this point i've lost all like at this point i just want to pass like i've lost that whole drive of like I want to do as well as if you know I was gonna get a 250 to, like at this point I just really don't care I just want to do enough to pass because this exam has taken so much from me and I just have nothing more to give so I am just like just want to pass and get this over with and move on with my life but then I start thinking and I'm just like, then there's step two and step three. Like, I really scammed myself. I really did, but it's okay, it's okay. I am hoping that when I start third year, a bit of that like, zest for life will come back you know that like will come back but i've been doing a lot of online shopping at night so which has kind of eased the pain of studying for step so i like have a whole bunch of outfits and stuff which is crazy because i'm like girl once you finish step you get a couple weeks off and you go into the hospital so where are you gonna wear these outfits to nowhere but you gotta do what you gotta do to you know ginger yourself and make yourself happy so that's just like my step update checking in type of thing um just finished class and we just had farm drills and micro drills and who child i need to i need to do better and be better so yeah my plan for the rest of the day and i have my calendar now i have like always had a calendar but now i'm also gonna like i also like write it in my planner too just so i can you know see both um, but my plan is I need to stop by the pharmacy to pick up some things and then might stop by the meat store, which is like right next to it. I literally like never leave my house. So like <laughs> I'll walk outside and be like, oh snap, when did it, when did the weather change? Like the other day I was like, when did gas prices go up? Like I am perplexed. And then when I come back, my plan is gonna be really it's my plan is really surrounded by the homework we have and stuff and then i'll probably add a little bit of my own extra studying um so my plan is i'm going to do you know a flashcard and stuff to prepare for our micro and farm drills for tomorrow and then we did gi the last two days so i'm probably just going to also review uh gi content from things i got wrong on questions then I'm gonna have dinner, then we get assigned question blocks homework to do, which is basically just doing you world questions. So I'm gonna do those, and then I think I'm gonna add some more you world questions to that to do, but more focused on microbiology. Um, and then that's gonna be my plan for uh, the rest of the day. and. If I'm lucky, I might finish. No, I'm not gonna finish by nine. <laughs> so, I was saying if I'm lucky, I might finish by nine and maybe I could watch a movie with my boyfriend on Zoom, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So, yeah, so that's today's plan and I don't know the next time I will check in. I don't know how, like between what I've been recording and stuff, I really don't know how I'm gonna split up these vlogs. So I don't even know if I'm going to see y'all in the next vlog. I don't know if y'all are going to be 
in the same vlog i i'll see y'all when i see y'all and that's just that's just it <laughs> okay that's just it <laughs>